Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to add up and down arrows in Excel. Like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. So to the point. For example, we have two columns. In the first, the current sales of the fruits. In the second, sales in the previous period. And in the third column, we have the difference in sales. And to make the difference in sales visually understandable, add up and down arrows, highlight the differences column and select conditional formatting under Home tab in Styles section at the top. Select the arrow indicators from the icon sets list on the conditional formatting menu. Choose any icons. I'll choose the classic three arrows green, red and yellow. Arrows have been added, but as we can see, in cases of falling sales minus 2, minus 5, the yellow balance arrow is indicated. Let's fix this. Go to the Manage Rules option on the Conditional Formatting menu, select Our Rule and click Edit Rule. In this menu, choose Format All Cells based on their values. We do not change the format styles. And you can change the icon style if uh, the classic arrows don't suit you. Under Type, choose Number for both type boxes. We don't change anything in the value field, but leave zeros in both fields. These settings can be useful when you need to specify sales and growth in your calculations. For example, from the number 5 and a fall, for example, from the number 3 and all indicators that are in this segment will be considered in equilibrium. And in order for there to be considered an equilibrium point, let's change this operator to strictly greater than zero. Click OK and select Apply and then OK. Now all values above zero are shown by green arrow as growth, below zero by a red arrow as a fall and equilibrium that is zero by a yellow arrow now you know a little more thanks for watching